I'm going to use this video to open up your mind to all the different opportunities. I look up, and the way this house is built, I can't go along the gutter because I, believe it or not, we will run a discharge line where you wouldn't even think we'll take it up instead of down. There's so many tree roots in this yard, and then this whole side of the lot is nothing but pavement. Notice the pipe on the top fence rail. That's the discharge line. Most driveways, the water runs down into the street. That's how we got the water out. We tested the pump and ran it. Worked great. We're just finishing up putting the electrical in. Our electrician's there. Nice, clean install. Think about that. No digging. Run it on a fence if you have that option. You can see how easy it is. A lot less digging for the homeowner. We're equipped to dig, and we'll dig first in most cases. But this side of the yard was all concrete. The other side of the yard, there were so many big tree roots. So now I'm behind the garage where we set our drop-in. That was the green lid. There's our high-octane run. We had a grass seed over it a little bit. We got the high octane going through all the low spots in the yard, got some blind inlets, and we're taking up all that yard water. Look at that. That tree, oh man, you could not get a discharge line out of this yard because of that tree. And again, all the concrete here in the driveway. Now, I'll run them down low on the bottom of the house. See that foundation on the house, the, the two blocks? But look at the man door. We call the service entrance a man door. The man doors on this, you know, was in the way. So this was my best option. Just to help you think of all the many ways that you could run your sump pump discharge line and get rid of your water.